פורים, a feast of happiness, a feast of deliverance, a feast commemorating the courage of one woman, which led to the salvation of an entire people. Each year we celebrate Purim with much joy, dressing up in costumes, giving gifts to one another, and dancing in the streets. After all, here in Israel, we know how to appreciate the fact that each day is a gift and that no one can tell what tomorrow will bring. Today, thousands of years after the Jewish people celebrated the first biblical feast of Esther, Israel still fights for her existence. She fights violence from within her borders in form of daily terror attacks. Violence from outside her borders, such as rockets flying in from Gaza, and countless threats from our close and distant neighbors to destroy the little Jewish state. Islam today, just as the evil Haman thousands of years ago, has a goal and a purpose, to wipe out the memory of Israel from the face of the earth. They live and breathe and swear by this dream. Israel also fights the equally damaging peaceful resistance, attempting to destroy her from a legal standpoint. The BDS, or the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement, is spreading around the world. And each time Israel acts in self-defense, she faces ridiculous accusations and slander. Nevertheless, just as it was then, even so today, God will allow us to defend ourselves. Moreover, He will give us favor and fight for us. Please pray for Israel that God will again and again avert the calamities our enemies are plotting against us, and that through this physical salvation, Israelis will also see and accept our Savior and Messiah Yeshua. The enemies of Israel will not prevail, no matter how many Hamans arise. Israel, the apple of God's eye, will remain. Amen.